Good morning, squad. So this is a long-awaited trip. I am on my way to Shark Island. Woo! I've been seeing Shark Island everywhere. Okay, I've been seeing them all over the news and all over Ghana streets and. They talking about it. They saying, man, come to Shark Island. This is the best place in Ghana, okay? The island is over in Aqua Safari. And you have to go to Aqua Safari and catch a boat over there. And then you'll be on the island. And um, I can't wait to get there. I am about, i say, three hours away. Or is it? I don't know. <laughs> So guys, we've been on the road for two hours and some change. And when I tell you this place is far out there, I don't know how in the world he even imagined. Oh, it's okay. Okay, I'm loud. How uh, he can even fathom coming all the way out here to build. Like, you you really got to have a heart. The only people who can maintain and and live like this is the people who love it. You got to love Africa to live in Africa. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. Very difficult. So, I commend him. I haven't even seen the place yet, but I commend him for even thinking of coming all the way out here and building his little uh, his little private island. Like you gotta be strong, you know? So, almost there, but not quite yet. Why are you walking by themselves? Don't charge me no uh no tourist fee because I'm a Ghanaian and I have my Ghana card. Yes, please. You're a Ghanaian from where? From Kumasi. Yeah, from Kumasi. <laughs> See, yes. So I don't want no touristic debt, taxes, and all that mess that they be doing. I don't know if you need my car on the car. You need my car on the car? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Just, just in case. Okay. So what you need? What you need? Ooh. Okay. So you have to pay for the package here before you can go in. Uh -huh. So it's 400 to this per person. Uh -huh. It comes with your lunch, two bottles of water, two glasses of cheese and complimentary activities. So what if you don't need the lunch? Lunch, two bottles of water, and then two glasses of juice. Two glasses of juice. Yes. I didn't even know I was getting all that. So, with the lunch, it's either you join the buffet or you order from the menu. A la, a la carte? Yes. Please. Okay, so the buffet is what time? Cause so, it's from 12.30 to 3, the buffet. But with the a la carte at any time, you want to have your meal. Okay, so we might as well do the lunch if we're going to pay for it. You might as well get it. It's because it's there's no package without the lunch, right? Yeah, so we might as well get the lunch then. No so problem. These are the complimentary activities. I ain't know who's doing the lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna get the lunch. There are top ones over here. But you have mm -hmm. to pay for this. Oh, you gotta tomorrow. pay for that stuff. You gotta pay for jet ski in. Let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Cause spa, I did the spa before. Flyboard, boat ride, an hour boat ride. 
an hour over at 17. I thought it was going to be 1100. I thought the dude told me 1100 for the boat ride. So the boat ride, we pay for it here or we pay for it in there? Exactly. So you want us to keep this paper? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting used to this. It's nice. You ain't got to hold it with your hand no more. Maybe you think you're going to drop it. Nice, right? Aqua Safari is so nice, but I think it's overrated. Especially because you pay, you pay the 400 for the person, right? And then when you get inside, you pay for the rooms, which is two two thousand something, two thousand two hundred something. And then you have to pay for all the activities separate. So it's like, oh my God, they really, really like try to get as much money out of you as possible to come to this place. I need to do a resort like this. I need to get, uh, bring a million dollars here, do a resort like this and make money. I'll make plenty. Oh, let's see the fish. Oh, they so good. I used to have the same in my house. And they grow fast too. Welcome. Thank you. They used to have a, a desk right here with a fish inside. You know what I mean? You remember this? Yeah, it used to have fish inside. Okay, so we need to, I guess we need to go eat first and then we can do the, we can leave kind of quiet. Um, I know I need to speak to somebody named Simon to arrange transportation. And um, I, I think I need to go first and then the uh, transportation is going to take me to Simon, though, because my friend talked to him already. So he said, Yes, so he said, when I get here, to talk to Simon. Simon is having security. Oh, that feels good. Oh my God, that feels good. Okay, that's a lot better now. The, oh, that's the, that's the fish. Oh, that's nice. They got rid of the, um, they had a, uh, the receptionist desk had a fish tank inside. Yes, yes. yes. They got rid of that. Because I was about to say, why are they taking everything away from it? The place. But they still charge more now. It costs more, but they're taking everything away. Oh, look. Look at my, my... I look so big. Oh, my God. I'm looking so fat. Okay. I'm turning around. Okay. They got water sports and stuff. So what's going on over here on this side? That side. Oh, we have a conference over there. Woo! No, 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 we out here. And they had a lot of like, birds and stuff. Simon, can you take pictures for me? Okay. 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 Thank you, Sam. Then one bottle of water is also part of the package. Oh. So this is new too. Because yes. this wasn't here. This right here definitely wasn't here the last time. Oh. 
all these things you are seeing there are for sale. Oh, Maybe the furniture? The chairs, the table, the chairs, everything. Wow, that's, and this is the tub. Oh, I gotta come back and get this tub. Let me see the prices. The prices on here. Or is they gonna make the price as we go? The price is here? Where? The price. 10,000. That's USD? Yeah. That'd be crazy as hell. $10,000 for a tub. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. I love it. But $10,000, they're gonna have to come down. I'm gonna say, look, I'm gonna pay y'all $3,000 for this tub. Y'all gonna take it or leave it? <laughs> they gonna take it because if not, it's just gonna sit here. Because who's really gonna buy that tub for ten thousand dollars? Be transported to your destination. I know. Okay, I'm gonna pay an extra thousand dollars for that. Yeah. I'm gonna pay an extra thousand dollars for that. So for four thousand dollars, that's what I'm paying. How about that, Simon? Okay, no problem. Sometimes if you want to buy. And then the prices are too much for you. They can give you the, the manager in charge contact and maybe you may discuss with yes. them if you want it to reduce it for you. But we have some that are more bigger than this one. Oh wow, really? But sometimes you know they don't like to make the money. They don't like making money because they won't take the deal. And I'm like, okay, so you're just gonna let it just sit here and not and you're not gonna make nothing out of it, or are you gonna try to work with me? So this don't look no different than it looked the last time. Would they put in here the donkeys? No. We have, the horses? No, we have a, a deck down there. Uh -huh. We have a deck, a wooden deck. Oh. Now we're taking the wooden deck out. We are growing the green grass. Uh -huh. So the whole front will be like the same. Oh. So we don't want people to be walking on it. The more they walk on it, the more it becomes difficult for us to do. She's leaving next week. Oh, yes. Yeah. So she's going back home. I want to take her to Mexico. Wow. Because that's the piece beyond understanding. Really? Yes. People don't know about how beautiful Mexico is and how you just live your best life in freedom. You ain't got to answer to nobody. Well, which part? Merida. Merida. Yeah, they have a peace treaty with the cartel. So there's no cartel there. And I, when I tell you, it's not even petty theft. Nothing. Nice. Nothing. Oh, I got to come to Merida with you. Oh, yeah. The only thing is it's hot. There's water there, right? Yeah. I want to be on the water. Oh, yeah. Like, you would love it. This is my office every day. This is me, too. Yeah. So, this is how I want to live, too. You about to go to Shark Island. You about to see how fine. Yes, honey. Yeah. 
honey, honey, honey. I'm yes. so happy that you have been waiting for you. Oh like, my God, my sister really? coming up the year. I said, that's the kind of backup I need right there. Me and her together, they gonna have hell. Oh my God, <laughs> tell them, tell them about it. So we didn't see you. Is your driver right there? Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Yeah, my driver, my friend. How you doing, brother Marvin? Nice to meet you, man. So look, I have some, some other clients that came, so we'll go across in a minute. Okay. We pay our bills. So I should just eat something then because I had already yeah. paid for the food. You paid for the food here? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah. let's eat and then we'll go across. Okay. Thank you so much. These people came from my country. They came from Guyana. They came from the Nigerian lady. And from what I'm heard, hearing that, you know, I'm, I'm viral. I'm a celebrity. And I'm like, oh. all I was doing, I didn't ask nobody to come interview me. They just like, hey, we want to come see your place. Oh, and then wow. everybody kept asking. And now, you know, that's what I mean. Yeah. But you don't have no YouTube channel. I do have YouTube. But I'm too busy to be doing that. I need somebody to just set it up, film me, follow me, and then we tell the story. Yeah, but if I got to sit and do it, it ain't nothing to get done. Ask somebody to edit. Hello, how y'all doing? I'm Kavisha. She's nice to meet you, Steve. This young lady from Nigeria, but she's in Ghana. Nice to meet you, Toya. Nice to meet you, Benny. Nice to meet you, Benny. I'm Kavisha. Kavisha, how you doing? Yes. Let me get some. 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 So yeah, let's get some food and then we'll go across okay. together, right? Okay, well let me get some, let me get a plate. <laughs> let me get that. But I take the money out of the rental income once the house is finished. I have a partnership with Kitchia, so they put the furnishings in. I just closed that deal. So now I'm selling the units furnished. Oh, okay. Right? So, and then we'll rent it out. And then while you own the 58, we'll split the revenue 50-50. So it doesn't come out of your pocket. Yeah, right, 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 right. So you're paying really 50% for your house and then the, the renters are paying the rest. So that's what I put together to help the diaspora. And it's been working. You know? And um and we're opening up next month the beachfront units. So we have, we have the beachfront units, we have the jet cars available, we have the um overwater obstacle course, and then we'll have four of our um catamarans so different activities that none of these resorts have so and then i partner with safari that i bring the jet cars here right and treasure island so the two biggest attractions because i own the jet cars i bring them here they don't have to buy them and we split the revenue what about the cat they do like the catamaran do you use them into the room like the no so so our parking lot is over there i just haven't done it yet because i've been focused on the house so right now i just meet my clients here but we have our car park so when you buy a house you get a parking space with your house when you're not here, we even rent your parking space, right? So if somebody comes to one of our VIP events at the end of every month, we rent your parking space if they want to be closest to the river, and then 80% of that rental goes to you too. So you have a parking space and you take the parking. We have four pontoons that pick us them up and take them on and off the hour. And you're gonna be bringing like DJs and stuff. DJ, everybody from the, the, the U.S., Ghana, and Nigeria. So what I want, what I realized is that Afrochella is busy every year mm -hmm. but there's so many people that was calling me like yo mom if you're kind of i want to come but in in december airplane tickets are high yeah, as giraffes yeah, ass yeah, yeah. so even if people are off they can't come so i did a Thank version so much. same thing but you'll come once a month i bring celebrities and then it keeps your home book occupied because i may have like in february i'm bringing jagged edge in april i'm bringing new edition i'm working with ronnie devoe from new edition so they're coming to perform. He's coming in as an investor too. So we'll be great. SWV, you know, I got four Grammys. I, Bruno Mars is a good friend of mine. I'll bring 50 Cent, Busta Rhymes, and then bring, you know, And they're coming when they're still in season. Not yeah, not just December. They're coming January, February, March, April. And that way, people who could afford to come in December, they'll be able to come in December. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and I'm trying to figure it out, right? But because I come from Guyana, I was able to, oh my God. you know. That's the spirit. You need to know what to do when you go that and what to do when And then once COVID hit, yeah. companies from the U.S. started calling me to rent my, to license my daycare yeah. platform because yeah. yeah. they needed to do social distancing. So people that knew I did medical logistics for Red Cross and all that started calling me like, Marvin, since you're not in Ghana, in America, why don't you let us use your daycare for things? And I said, wait a minute, I can license it. I'm not going back to America. So I said, how much you going to pay me? So one company offered me 1.5 million. I hung up the phone and I said, yeah, I can get you. I'm, I'm, I'm like, hey, 1.5 million in, in, in Ghana? Yeah, so, so I negotiated, it fell through. Then another company came and, and did it. I'm dancing in the house, that one fell through. And then Dominique Wilkinson, the, the basketball player, he has diabetes and he's in Atlanta. So he has a national um, medication delivery um, platform for diabetics, but they didn't have a logistics platform to deliver it. So they offered me $36 million for the whole U.S. This is in the heart of COVID, bro. And I'm like, yo, I'm rich and got it, right? <laughs> you were not supposed to take that one point something. Yeah, yeah. But then that deal fell through because instead of him putting up the money, he's trying to raise money. Right, and his right, right, thing. Right. So then I say, you know what, Marvin? You know that people are willing to pay you $1.5 million. How many people do you need to license daycare to give you 1.5? And I just broke it down. I said, if I get 35 people, then I'm going to license it. Yo, you own Atlanta. You own yep, yep, yep. Alabama. You own Florida. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and then what I did was I trained a bunch of Ghanaians here to run the back office. So instead of you having to hire somebody in the U.S. for $1,000 a, a week and pay them insurance, you can hire one of these Ghanaians here that I've trained to manage your business for mm -hmm. you and only pay $1,000 a month. So now I got Ghanaians here that I'm like, yo, people go to India and Pakistan for, you know, virtual assistance. Well, these Ghanaians are capable too. So now I had a bunch of Ghanaians that are making 10,000 CDs a month working and doing it. And I licensed daycare 14 times to so doctors and nurses. That's how I met Uchenna Ijaku, the Igbo medical doctor that has, has a house there. So I have a full stable of doctors. We're building a medical center there. They're moving from the U.S. to run it. Then I got um, Sandra, what's her name? She's, she's coming to, um, her husband is got name, but she's from Jamaica. They're in Philadelphia. So all these people bought houses for me, but they licensed daycare first. So when you say daycare, you're talking about day program. No, so daycare is my medical platform. It's a healthcare platform. It's like um, Uber. You could call a doctor. You could do a virtual consultation. So oh. while COVID, everybody was in the house. They would just go on my platform and talk to a nurse or doctor. The problem was Ghanaian doctors did not want to pay me a subscription to get on. I'm like, look, I'm getting you. You're going to get paid. Consultation. So it's an app. Yeah, it's an app. I'll show you. I'm building an app, too. I'm building an app that's going to revolutionize the transportation industry. So it's like Uber and Lyft, too. So we're thinking on the same. Yeah, so my deal. app is a global healthcare platform. And it's working. My nurses right now are in, they're working in, um, what is this place called? Trisaco. They're working in Bellagio with my clients. Oh, it's on our So I started getting money licensing daycare, meeting my nurses and doctors that are living at the island. And that's how with my 54 acre island here, I'm doing a retirement community. Ghana has 30, no, I'm sorry, 40,000 unemployed nurses. Dang. So I have my healthcare company here and I have it in the U.S. I have nurses, I have Medicaid, Medicare contracts that now, if you have a U.S. business and a Ghana business and it's the same business, I can send her to the U.S. and she doesn't have to go through the half of the embassy because right, right, yeah. she's worked with my company here for years. So she's doing an intra-company transfer. Oh, we got to work together because I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, and when I'm talking I'm to doing these, the same I'm telling the nurses here, like, look, I can send you to America. You just have to yes. work on my platform here for a year. You don't got to take the NCLEX, the ILEX, ILEX because you work for a company here. And it's me just saying, I need her in the U.S. So they know you have a job. They know you ain't coming. You're going to be making money. You're not going to be stealing. So I, I rebranded the platform from daycare, daycare health is D-A-Y-K-R-E. And daycare is really just a play on the words they care. Because okay. nurses, oh. nurses, they're, they're, they're empaths naturally. They care about people. A lot of them they do it, they don't even want about the money, so it's daycare. So my platform is use the daycare app because they care. Now there's another black guy, he made a board game. Amazon copied the shit out of that, took his shit in the warehouse. They do that to all their sellers. Amazon will look at what you're doing, how it's performing, and if it's doing well, they'll come up with a similar product and then now stop selling your product. So now you got all this inventory. That's so messed up. That's how Jeff Bezos punk ass got that rich. That is so messed up. Oh Man, they screwed me. I, I was on, I got the cover, Black Enterprise Magazine. And the day that that shit dropped, they pulled me off the cover.
but took my seventy goddamn thousand dollars to do their entrepreneur summit. I said, well, you wanna keep my seventy thousand? You take me off the cover? You didn't even ask me if what they saying is true. <laughs> That's how I ended up in Ghana. I said, that damn what? What's his name? The, the CEO of um, Black Enterprise. I, that, uh, okay, asshole. I take it you don't go to America often. Nah, I hate America, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have an alternative. No, I know, and that's yeah, what that's I'm trying to help other people here. Exactly. So, and I, I be telling people, yeah, yeah, I talk about the frustrations and God. I stop telling people. I just say, come and visit me. I yeah. can't talk anymore. I've been here for ten years. Come and visit me. I just came twice. You should have said. I said, you see my pictures? I thought you were lying. Why? I don't live a life to lie. Yeah, yeah. I live very well in the UK. I didn't want to stay here. from the Netherlands, his aunt, they have like five, six houses on the island. She bought one, we did hers, she bought her friend, she bought some other people. This girl always brings me clients, right? And um, so her, her, her nephew came, he had never left the Netherlands. So his perception of Africa, he had like the same one I had. I yeah. thought when I landed, it was gonna be a zebra. No, in my mind, really. I thought there would be, I'll be landing on the plane on the dirt road, and I'll look out and I'll see the zebras running alongside. <laughs> I hate to say it. Oh I hate to say it. You know? Yeah. So what about anybody else? So this guy came, and when he saw a cry, Africa, and he's like, yeah. And and it, no, my he, nephew said the little things like buildings and black people, and it's not, uh, you know, equal rights or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. This is your country. Yeah. No black people. We're the ma we're the majority here. Yeah. That's why the advert is that black family. But that's why they also that's why they also try to keep us from coming here by showing us that negative stuff. When I was coming on the plane, I saw more white people than black people on the plane. So I was like, wait a minute. Why are these, yeah, why are these white people coming but I don't see no exactly. What you get? Yeah. So that's what I'm using my interviews to show people. Like, look, I did this, I've been here five years, but I only started building this property 14 months ago. Oh, oh, I thought it was longer. No, I Listen, the first three years, I struggled like shit here. That's how I was able to say, okay, I needed something. And you have to tell that story. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah because it's not easy. Even yeah, no, 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 no. I'm the yeah, only one true. that be like, yo, I was broke. Yeah, I'm not exactly. like, other guys, <laughs> they, they want to come here. They so embarrassed. They don't want people to know no. they came here and ran out of money. But me, I'm like, no. I'm like, yo, I struggled. Like, you, this is a different market. This is a whole nother animal. But you can still make it exactly. if you stay. Exactly. One guy. Right, I, you have your $500 is enough. Yeah. You know, but if you didn't have that, you would be on the street. No, I didn't have $500. You said you had $100 a month. $100 a month, so 560 CDs a month. Better. I'll take my house. You know what I'm saying? I had 560 CDs a month. Right? But but what that taught me for them two years, like, I don't want to live like this. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. so when COVID happened, I would just go out and be looking at properties just as a way to get out the house. Because here, as long as you paying at the borders, they wasn't holding you to no social distancing staying yeah, exactly. in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did eight weeks here. Yeah. Nothing compared to what that everyone else did. So, like, I would come, I would visit places. And then, so when the guy brought me here, one of my girls, Yvonne, she moved back from the UK. So she would do customer service training. So she was like, um, one day she posted her father's house here. And I just saw the river and the pool. And I said, yo, that's beautiful. She said, oh, that's my dog. So when I came here, the guy said, yo, I want to take you to Phong Po. I was like, Phong Po, that don't sound sexy. <laughs> I, I, I started to say, no, I don't want to go. So then when he bought me, we got right there at the local market. And I was like, oh, he showed me the water. And then we, we got on the canoe and I saw this thing. I said, what's that? And he said, oh, that's Aqua Safari. I said, yo, I thought Aqua Safari was in Ada. He said, yeah, Phong Po's in Ada. I said, well, nigga, why you tell me you're taking me to Ada? So I, I'm glad I didn't. We meant to be Yeah, there. I'm glad I didn't say no. So then they took me all of here. I looked at islands over there all around and then they took me to that one and i swear to you i sat down under the tree and i'm negotiating with the family and a breeze just like this blew. and for me it was like god was like this <laughs> and in my ear says this is yours and I, and that's the family i bought the first island from and then the other islands i just hired over 200 people here and they all families own islands here so when they saw me paying those people they would come to me mr walker we have this land over here would you like to buy some land on our island i sure would <laughs> at the same price i paid them yeah. but listen everybody think that when they hear y'all bought seven hours they think i paid for all these islands up front i had money no i sat down and i said listen if you give me this land even the first island i didn't have no money 
They had to let me title the land in my name before I even gave them any money. I said, listen, because there's land scams here. Now, I appreciate meeting you, but if this is really your land and you giving it to me, I can't sell nothing I don't own. Exactly. So if I try to send exactly. Captain or Keith the land or Mary, they're going to be like, um, I did my search and it's coming in in so-and-so name. I said, would you buy a car from me if I'm trying to sell you my car and it's not in my name? No. I said, all right. Let me register the land. I promise you, I will pay you. But too much land scams. I'm not giving you no money. Yo, they allowed me to register the land in my name before I gave them any money. When the title came back, and then I went and I sold Keith, I got Keith $5,000 for reservation fee, I went and I gave it to them. There you go. So the first one I bought the land, it was 16 plots. And I, I bought the land, and I would go, I paid for plot one. And in agreement, it said, yo, once I pay for a plot, it's mine. If I should default out of the 16, if I only pay for those eight, those are mine. Because you ain't got no money to give me back. So just, and I'll title back the rest to yours. So I protect the day interest, but also mine. And then I use that same contract with every other family. And I just give them $10,000 to secure the land. And then when I start developing it, I'll pay you. And that's how I got seven dollars. So it's just using your brain. But, but somebody asked me the other day, I said, clear, concise, and transparent communication. And you show them the benefit for them, how I'm helping you. This land has been sitting there forever. Y'all not selling it. And one guy came there a couple weeks ago and he said the same thing you just said. He said, Mark, this land is your land. I said, no, I got the title. He said, no, 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 no. You don't understand what I'm saying. I live here and I die. He said, this stuff has been sitting here. Nobody's buying land on the overbank. Everybody bought up all this land. They selling it two, three, four times. But on the side of it, nothing. Right? So he was like, how did you see what you see here? I said, how y'all didn't see it? I don't know. Like, what do you ask me, bro? This is a no-brainer to me. So... You know, and that's the opportunities that's here in Ghana field. And all my clients now, when I do this video on the yacht this weekend, and I got all the guys and the girls, and now all my dudes from America, I'm bringing them for yacht parties, thousand dollars a head. Killing them. I could never get this in America for what I paid. Never. And then they would have tied me up. They would have tied me up and, and you know, getting my permits. I'd have probably been waiting five, seven years in America to get my permits. Or the white people would have redlined me. Oh, how could you afford this? You got to meet with the board. We, we got to prove it. All that they're doing exactly what you told them to do. Exactly. So, that's why I love it here. You know? But there are some challenges. But same as in America. Challenges everywhere. 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 Everywh
Don Nelson. These are just two local guys from my dad that built this And you can see on a small parcel of land, one plot, two plot, you can build an income generating property that can help you do well, you know, make your living and living here for time. When it comes to the media, everybody. Mm -hmm. Our first seven homes are three bedroom, three bath units, 1,815 square feet of indoor living space, and then the rooftop deck is 1,803 square feet of outdoor space. All will have a uh, upstairs cabana and pergola. Mm -hmm. These owners cannot build anything above because the owners in the back have to have a view of the river. So let's go look at the three bedrooms. And see what it looks like. The lawn view, right, and then the master for your privacy, you're in the center, right? And you so, can reconfigure the room uh -huh. however you want. You can yeah, reconfigure yeah. it. So the guy that bought this, he bought six of them and he wanted his oh, where's my other phone? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. He put um he wanted the master in the middle. Alright, all right. so some people want it. Yeah. You do good work, you don't run off, you don't chop the money. Yes. Come in eight five. This is our two bedroom unit. We're putting the pool in it now. It is a construction site, so just join us. So this unit, okay. this is your front porch. Okay. So, you know, you guys can sit out underneath here and enjoy the sun. Yeah. Oh. Okay, there's a guy. So you see the they'll be out there oh. front. So your house is from here to the front of the walkway there, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So this is your um, backyard, and then up to here. And then from here forward is our land. Mm -hmm. So we'll have the pergolas there, but again, you're welcome to come out. 
Let me show you some of the other units with the tiles. I love this. I will leave this drawer open every day, all day. Forget the lizards and all that. Let them come in. Yes. I don't even care. <laughs> this one here is Colin Salisman. He's a Jamaican eight cents. So I said I'm gonna do that on a smaller version once a month. My goal is only to get four thousand people. Afrochella brings in fifty eight to a hundred thousand people every December. So if I could do 4,000 people once a month, it's just as good for me, mm -hmm. right? That's yeah. almost a half a million people every year. And if I could convert, you know, 10% of those to come move to Ghana, then I'm doing my part to bring people home, right? And we could fit 3,700 people. The rooftop decks each could hold about 45 people each, and then the rooftop decks up there. So if this whole place is filled with people, we could get 10,000 people enjoying the show easily. Mm, Any wonderful. questions about Shark Island Resort and Residence? Um, I titled that video because I was having some issues, but when they come here, I come outside with my shotgun like, yo, what's up? Uh -huh. The people uh -huh. I bought the land from is right there. Go ask them for the money. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So, my problem was with the contractors, not the people I bought the land from. My land is secure. Okay. The contractor will come. I'll pay them 60%, 100% of the price. You know, I don't think you're going to leave. They give you 8,000, 10,000. But if you come back to the TV, they lose their money. Yes. So they run off. And I, I, I try to be diplomatic with them at first. You know, bring the money. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I had took a motorbike right here before. Took a motorbike? Uh, I took a motorbike yeah. to go to. I thought it was a Kasumbo. Yeah, from here to Kasumbo.